This video will demonstrate the general functionality of High Throughput Simulator in Charm GUI. HTS automatically prepares simulation systems of multiple protein ligand complex structures in a high throughput manner to facilitate structure based drug design. On the front page of HTS, we can upload all of our protein ligand complex structures by dragging them into the upload area. Note that HTS allows variations of protein structures in the ligand binding site that could result from flexible docking. In this example, we want to build five systems of protein ligand complex in a membrane bilayer using the same protein structure and five different ligands. The protein is a G protein coupled receptor, beta adrenergic receptor with PDB ID 2VT4, that is a major drug target for cardiovascular regulation. For example, beta blockers are used to reduce blood pressure. Using Vena, we already docked five ligands into the binding site of the protein and named the protein ligand structures complex 1 through 5. These five structures can be downloaded by clicking the link in this video's description. Click Next to read the structures. After CharmGUI reads our protein and five ligands, click Next to go to PDB manipulation options. If we want to modify the protein structure, this is where we would do it. To learn how to use the structure manipulation options, please see the video demos for PDB Reader and Manipulator. In this case, we do not need to modify anything, so click Next to submit the jobs to our server to generate a Charm-compatible PDB file and ligand force field parameters. Don't forget to save your job ID, as you will need this number if you want to retry any steps with Job Retriever. Your job IDs are also available in your user profile. Our protein ligand structures are listed on this page with their ligand IDs and ligand force field parameterization. HTS offers three force field options, including CGNFF, GAF2, and OpenFF. When a particular ligand is successfully parameterized, a green checkbox is shown. Otherwise, a red X mark is shown when a ligand fails to parameterize. In this case, all ligands are successfully parameterized. In addition, HTS allows structural modification of any of our ligands. This can be useful to modify the ligand when a particular ligand cannot be parameterized by our choice of ligand force field. If we want to change the force field type for our ligands, we can simply click one of the three selections above the table. In this case, we will choose CGNFF. Click Next to orient the protein. In this tutorial, we will orient the protein by using the PPM server and click Next. We put 80 angstroms as our initial guess for the length of X and Y, and add a 1 to 1 ratio of POPC in the upper leaflet and lower leaflet. After clicking the Show the System Info button, CharmGUI estimates that we need 76 POPC in the upper leaflet and 77 in the lower leaflet. Click Next to begin lipid packing. We will neutralize our system using potassium chloride and click Next. Click Next again to assemble water, ions, and other components. To efficiently build the systems, water and ions are copied into each system from the one that has the biggest ligand. Water molecules that overlap with protein, ligand, or ions will be removed. Ions are deleted as necessary to neutralize the systems with different ligand charges. On this page, we can generate a variety of MD simulation input options including NAMD, GROMAX, AMBER, OpenMM, Genesis, Desmond, LAMPS, and Tinker. In addition, hydrogen mass repartitioning is also supported. Once you've selected your desired simulation programs, click Next to generate equilibration and production inputs for your system. On the last page, we can download the input files for running MD simulations of our protein ligand complex structures.